Endless Space 2 Early Access is on the right track. In this video, we'll cover the new content, features and improvements introduced in Update 2. Let's start with our sixth major faction, the Horatio. Originally born in the Mazari Empire, Horatio left on a solo voyage, crossing the galaxy in suspended animation until his ship identified a habitable planet. In-system exploration led him to the discovery of endless technologies which allowed him to replicate his body. However, boredom set in after a few years, until Horatio had the brilliant idea of filling the planet, and why not the galaxy, with the brightest and most beautiful sentient creature ever to exist, Horatio. After a few decades of experimentation, his cloning program achieved something between perfection and success. An army of equally gorgeous clones are now ready, and the hordes of Horatios are prepared to follow their glorious leader and give the galaxy a proper makeover. Horatio's unique affinity, gene pool, allows them to assimilate the DNA of other factions, effectively gaining the traits of the absorbed population. DNA assimilation is a very powerful tool, but perfection comes at a price. Each assimilated population will cause a drop in food output, which makes Horatio growth incrementally more difficult as they improve. Horatio starships are visually striking and delicate creations, the pinnacle of their art. Their hulls have fewer slots, but they are generally more versatile and can host more module types than other factions' ships. This means that, in a jack-of-all-trades configuration, these ships would fare comparatively worse than most. However, as specialized spacecraft, Horatio ships can be very powerful. Based on community feedback, Update 2 also introduces major changes for three core features of the game. The new tech tree focuses on asymmetric progression with more links between technologies, including cost reductions and exclusions. The new design better captures Endless Space 1 legacy and provides meaningful choices that truly impact scientific evolution. Space battles have also been drastically improved. Most of the work has been done on refactoring background systems, such as data structure and trajectories generation for smoother battles. Ships can now be moved between flotillas, and their position is saved from one battle to the next. The new deck building feature is also available, and we plan to add more cards and variety later on. The Horatio update also includes three additional minor factions. The Gnashast are the descendants of benthic horrors that crawled onto the land a few hundred thousand years earlier. Not the most welcoming of races, the Gnashast nonetheless can make strong allies if they are well handled. The Tikkanen were brought to a human colony world for purported zoological studies and later managed to escape and disappear into the wilderness. How they went on to evolve their own twisted civilization is uncertain, but what is clear is that they became much more adept than the mindless insectoids who'd arrived a dozen years earlier. The last minor faction introduced with Update 2 has been designed by the community. The small dragon-like animals, known as the Aider, were originally the genetically engineered pets of an advanced spacefaring race that died from a ravaging plague. They multiplied and evolved into a society elevated by their deceased owners' dust-laden, endless relics. These expanded their consciousness and gave them control of their ancient master's fleets. Finally, we have updated the planet grid around the notions of temperatures and biodiversity. Colonization order and terraformation evolution have also been implemented. But that's not all. Update 2 also includes several new features. New diplomatic proposals and new victory conditions are now available. Spaceports allow the migration of populations between planets and systems. You can now place ads in the marketplace, a tool that should prove quite useful to buyers and sellers alike. And to conclude, we have introduced a new rebellion feature. When approval of your leadership is too low in a system, a separatist movement might seize control of its planets. If that happens, and diplomacy is not an option, you will need to deploy your fleet and reclaim your sovereignty. 
Update 3 plans include another major faction, new minor factions, Era 5 technologies, multiplayer, constellation control, star system AI governors, more shortcuts, and many scan view improvements. All of those will be delivered with the next update. Sharing your ideas is easier than ever on the Games Together platform thanks to our new ideas feature. So join now and help us craft the best strategy game we can.